I've been asked to talk about why do we look for a scapegoat when a marriage fails? That's a difficult one because there's so many different variety of reasons why marriage marriages fail. Because I know a lot of people that have failed marriages and but are still in the marriage, and um, many who have moved on but never really recovered and keep repeating the same pattern. Well, my opinion is, I think, the biggest problem that we all face is, as human beings is reflecting on, our, on us, understanding who we are, what we are about, and why we do what we do. It's never about the other person, because you cannot change the other person. You've married them, but that does not mean you can change them. When you marry, you accept the person for who they are, and they come as they are. You maybe can compromise in situations, compromise with money, compromise on love, compromise with sex, compromise on how you bring your children up or the kind of house you buy. But that that is what marriage is, it's a compromise. If you go into a marriage thinking, oh, I'll marry him or her today and I will change who they are, there'll be someone different then you're going into marriage in the wrong manner completely. Marriage is really about two people coming together in respect and trust. Those are the only two things you can depend on to have a long marriage. If one of those things are broken, it would be a very sad state. If you do find a scapegoat, and many of them who are miserable usually have affairs, not one, but many, and complicate their lives and still remain in their marriage. But they're really hurting themselves more than they're hurting the other person because they haven't really sat down and looked at who they are, what they're about, and why are they so weak that they would continue to be in a very bad pattern. You don't have to leave somebody to change, but you don't expect the other person to change. If there's difficulty, I think, you have to change first or accept your problems unless you're being beaten and there's domestic violence if they are if someone has struck you which is not acceptable then they are never going to not strike you again then you should leave to be in a healthier relationship or be by yourself the journey that we are all here on this earth is to really learn about who we are what we are about, the lessons we we gain when from our parents who try to mold us and give us as much values as possible. But thereafter, it's, it's us. We have to look at who we are, why we're here. It is that's troubling us, what we need to change about who we are. Because the stronger you, you become, the more sure you are of yourself and what you want in the spouse that you would either compromise not or not compromise or live with or not live with marriage should not be taken lightly i don't i i think marriage is a very beautiful thing it's a thing it's a a union of two people who promise to be with each other and build a life together but that does it's not a life sentence where you tolerate punishment, abuse, or um, lying and cheating. That's not what marriage is about. As a, many people I've, that I've known have turned a blind eye to things their spouse do to them or uh, behind the scenes and think that they can just tolerate it. But what they fail to realize is that it's chipping them off as a person layer by layer and making them bitter and it usually is taken out on the children or other and and they'll never be able to to love themselves or love another person again and it's just you know life is so short We're, we're here for a set amount of time and we need to be happy and if you can do that in your marriage and turn it around and all the better but if you can't then leave Make the other person happy, make yourself happy, 
put your children in a better environment and um, move on. But using other people and creating excuses is a weakness. It says you can't look at yourself in the mirror and, and really understand who you are. And it's the hardest thing to do because we all carry demons. We all have, all of us are dysfunctional. We all have problems, but it's how we deal with them and how we accept them that make us better people for ourselves, not for anybody else. This is our journey and the others are there to teach us to be a better person.